What's going on real estate Randy here with another video for you today and today's video is just a little bit different today I'm going to be showing you random pictures that are real pictures that were on the MLS Some of them are crazy choices. Some of them are why does this room exist? I hope you enjoy if that sounds good to you Please like comment share and subscribe to the channel without further ado. Let's get into it So taking a look at this first one, I'm wondering how the agent put this in the description. Um, fifth bedroom, cozy, and it feels like you're being embraced by a hug. So here we obviously had somebody who thought there was an interior designer and said, I'm going to make these floors match my bed and vice versa, but it looks absolutely gross. Um, who was strong enough to put that TV up there? That's what I want to know. And then why is the couch underneath it? And then what happens if you lose the remote? Now, what in the world is this in that bed? Is that an emu? I don't even understand why this picture exists. It's just weird. So here, I'm gonna let you use your own imagination what goes on in this bedroom, but it's just strange and odd that they have five chairs facing a bed. So, you know, they've always said you need to utilize all the space necessary. Now, I don't know if this is a bathroom with kitchen appliances in it or a kitchen with bathroom appliances in it. It don't make sense to me. Um, this one kind of makes sense because at least you can cook, eat, clean everything up, go down, use number two, and then jump straight into the shower, clean yourself up. Makes sense. On the stairs? Why is it on the stairs? Hey, bro, where's your bathroom? Hey, man, it's on the stairs. You mean up the stairs, right? Nah, bro on the stairs. I put it there strategically just in case going up or coming down if you have to use the restroom <laughs> right there. Easy peasy. This one even got privacy. That's just crazy to me. Now, what is going on here? Who's using this bathroom? That is like a 200, 300 pound wash machine above your head. And are they utilizing the same water? Which way does the water flow? I don't get it. Now here, obviously they got their idea from a camper. That's the only place I ever seen an exit door to go outside next to a toilet. Now this definitely has to be an evidence picture. There's no way that this is how this house looks right now. If I walked into this house, I would be like, oh hell no, and ain't nothing else to look at. Now why is this creepy doll in the corner? It has never, ever, ever in life been a movie or situation where anybody survived when there's a creepy doll in the corner. I'm not using this bathroom. I don't care. There's no way you can send your guests into a bathroom like this. I am going to go outside in your backyard or I'm going to hold it. So this agent had a great idea about putting this arrow up here, but still, what am I looking at? Is that the location of the home? Am I looking at the trees? Are you showing me the view? I don't get it. Now here, this agent paid to be in a newspaper. He said, well presented three bed bungalow. Are you serious? You sent a picture of the sky. How well presented is that? Can you see what's wrong with this picture? Don't pay attention to half the lights being out. Don't pay attention to the ugly green curtain. Don't pay attention to the wallpaper. This man couldn't get out the picture. Somebody obviously staged this one because the horse is attached to a leash. I'm not understanding this. Are you selling the house with the horse or the horse with the house? So this one like a regular dining room. Looks great, looks really good. But then you have Phoenix the cat over here doing its best Spider-Man impersonation right in the middle of the screen and you missed it. Obviously here we're one day late from the party. I don't know if I want to be there because they're drinking natural light and nobody drinks that at all anymore. But yeah, they had a good time. Well guys, that concludes our video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. All my contact information will be down below in the description. Plus I have this number right here next to the logo. And um, if you are in the Austin or San Antonio market and you're looking to buy or sell a home, please don't hesitate to reach out to your boy, Real Estate Randy. Like always, I hope you have a great day. Remember to stay safe.